what's in your pockets guys average gear reviewer here back with another one for you and i know it's been a week already can you believe it guys it's already friday I, it seems like the time has gone by so fast it seems like we were just here but you know what that means since it's friday that means it's time to take off all this gear we've been wearing all week it's time to empty our pockets out it's time to finally kick back and relax for the weekend it's time for the TGIF Pocket Dub. Let's do it! Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. And as always, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. I do really appreciate it. If you're a returning viewer, great to see you again. Hope you and yours are doing well. You know, without further ado, let's get into it. But, you know, guys, if you're not familiar with this series, every week I go through, I show you what I've been carrying. I show you where I've been carrying it on my body. And I just kind of go through a little bit about how my EDC might have changed this week. Um, you know, any new things that I've come across, uh, different concepts or ideas I've come up with for carry. I try to share those with you guys every week. I love seeing your feedback and seeing your carries. So, you know, hop over to Instagram and post your carry to hashtag TGIF pocket dump. If you want to be included in a future video, I would love to show off your gear. So anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. And uh, just for future reference, you know, always I will start on my left hand side. I'll go around to the right. This week I'm doing something a little bit different. I wanted to show you guys. Um, I wanted to just kind of give you a view of everything on the belt. Um, I have had some people ask me uh, some questions about concealed carry, things like that. And so I wanted to just give you, kind of show you what it looks like underneath the shirt. Um, you know, I've got my shirt tucked in so that you could see everything on the belt here. You can see I do keep my pistol on the right hand side, appendix carry. Um, and as always, any, any firearms shown in the videos are always, uh, they are safe, unloaded, empty, and even since it's the G2C, I have it on safe. So you can see I've got it uh, nested nicely here in the appendix position. Got my sidearm retention knife here. I like to carry mine on the left, really close to center, so that I can reach it left hand or right handed. Um, it's just a preference for me, but I know a lot of people that uh, carry uh, the sidearm retention knives, they do tend to carry sort of in this position. So that would be my recommendation. Um, if you carry a mag, of course, an extra mag would go nicely right here, especially if you have one of like a sidecar carrier or something like that. Um, I just carry an inside the waistband kydex sheath uh, on uh, the ulti clip. And one thing I did want to say about sheaths, guys, I, I see a lot of people posting in forums asking about um, a sheath for that'll fit a particular light um, that'll go with a particular optic or whatever. And my advice to you would be um, carry your pistol the way you want to carry it and, and make the gear work around, you know, your gear should work around your system. You shouldn't have to work your system around the gear. So, you know, Keep looking and find find a holster that's going to fit your firearm with the attachments that you want on it. Um, I could find tons of holsters that will fit this gun without a light, but it took some searching to find a gun and flower holster that actually will fit the particular light that I run on it. But it's absolutely worth it because the retention is fantastic. I mean, it, it, it's very good and uh, it fits perfectly. I've never had any issues with it. Uh, I, if you guys have watched the video series for very long, you know that one day I actually fell down the stairs with this thing on and it, it never even moved out of the holster. So um, it's well worth it to, to take a little more time and find the right holster that's going to work with your gear. That's That would be my best advice because the thing is you want to carry the gun or, or whatever, you know, whatever it is, you want to carry it the way that you want to use it. And if you have to compromise to take your light off, your optic off, or whatever to fit it into a particular um, holster, to me, that means you just should search and find a better holster, in, in my opinion. Um, Gun and Flower, if you run Olight products, I know a lot of people have a hard time finding stuff for Olights. I run Olights on all my firearms. Um, I have one on my AR. I'm a big fan of Olight, and um, I love the way that you can recharge them. 
I love the rail mounting system. They just do so many things right, and they're tough as nails. Um, it's hard to find holsters to fit them, um, but I do know that Gun and Flower makes some. Uh, we the People holsters make some holsters for them. So, uh, you know, they are out there. Just do a little searching and find the one that works. Don't compromise on the equipment you want to carry just because of something like that. that that's my advice. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick view here where you could see sort of how everything sits on the belt. I do have my Bismix tactical belt on, which I can't say enough good things about this, guys. It really is uh, was a game changer for my EDC. It allows me to carry my tourniquet straps to the outside of the belt so that it's always handy. It's always right there. Uh, I don't have to worry about searching for it in a situation where I need it. And it's very low vis. When the shirt's untucked, you, you really can't tell that I have it on. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, I got starting on the left-hand side. Uh, well, you know, actually, let's go ahead and do this first because this one always, always ding the mic with this one. Uh, of course, the Olight iMini 2. Got that around the neck on a chain. Always, always, always. You got the Tick Watch Pro, always, always, always. <laughs> you know, those two things, I just, uh, they, I always have them on me. The Lighter Bro Pro, if you know, you know, the Lighter Bro Pro. And of course, you know, I do have the uh, tourniquet attached to the belt here. And on the left hand side, I do also have the sidearm retention knife. This one that I'm carrying right now is one I just did a video on. Let me be careful with it because it's so sharp and pokey. Oh. It's a GTKII knives from Amazon. It's a copy of the Bastinelli Dopamine. I just did a uh, unboxing video on this one and first impressions. So I'll link that up here if you want to check that video out. It's a really, really cool little knife. Um, and I barely got it out of the box before it cut me. It comes with a great Kydex sheath. Um, the clip on it is terrible. I'll just say that right off the bat. It's a, it, this knife was 20 bucks with the sheath. Um, it's D2 steel and G10 scales. Um, I'll have a link down there if you want to grab one. They're super nice. Um, the, the sheath is probably worth 20 bucks on its own, but, uh, you know, got a clip on there just in name only. Really, it barely will hold to the inside of my belt. So yeah, I would definitely recommend replacing the clip on it if you get one. Just put that down on the desk and again we'll, we'll go uh, we'll take a look at the top down view here in a minute and uh, you can get a better look at everything uh, back pocket i have <coughs> in the back pocket i've got my wallet and of course i do always carry the fidelo minimalist wallet um i just i love it i love the um, way you can push up and select get your cards popped out there uh, it's a nice leather exterior with a aluminum, an aluminum case that goes on the inside, RFID blocking. And of course, got my little Oticle tool card. See, my ring light went out just now. I, I was just talking about this. So if you like the video so far, please leave me a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I, I don't know what you're waiting on. Um, if you want to become a member and help me literally keep the lights on, you could join. There's a, a link down in the description. Look, so let me see if I can get this fixed. All right. Pardon the interruption there. <laughs> so what was that? Okay. Yeah. Left-hand side back pocket um, by Mr. Travis Kennedy's recommendation for the carry position there. I've got the Olight Warrior Mini 3. Great little tail switch and button activated flashlight. Uh, you know, you can't really go wrong with anything from Olight, but this one in such a small form factor, I really love this little flashlight. Um, right back pocket, I've got the Oh Hank. Always got to keep a Hank on you, especially if you wear glasses around, uh, you know, or if you have electronic devices, it's a good thing to have. Um, just to wipe your stuff off, keep it clean. Uh, optics on weapons, things like that. Um, let's see, down here in this pocket, in the cargo pocket, I'm carrying, of course, you know, I got the pocket platform on me. That's the deluxe, and I got it loaded down. We'll go over what all I have in it here in just a minute when we go to the top down view. Um, what else do I got? Oh, yeah. In the left pocket here, wait, let me try that again. 
in the pocket. There we go. The SOG Traction Tanto. This is a cool little $22 knife from SOG. Super sharp little Tanto. I'm carrying this one right now because I actually have a review, long-term carry review coming up on this. So I always like to get, you know carry them a little bit, use them, um, just so I could give you a better idea of my, you know, what I think about the knife. But uh, I've actually had this one years ago and lost it and bought a new one last year. Um, this is actually one of my first EDC knives, I would say, was probably this knife. And uh, it, it is, it's just nylon handles. Um, it's a two-hand folder lockback. I don't even remember what the steel is on it. It's probably like a 9CR18 MOV steel or something. But anyway, super sharp. Um, it will hold an edge fairly well. It'll take an edge fairly well. And it does have a really, let me see if I can get it up there for you. Got a great deep carry pocket clip on it. But anyway, I'll have a re full review coming out on this one if you want to check that out. Uh, it should be out later this week. Um, let's see, where were we? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so we are back around to the pistol again. I've already showed it. So you know it got the G2C, uh, Taurus G2C 12 plus one with the Balder RL. So it is uh, red dot and a flashlight. You can use one or the other. Uh, finger switch operated there. Great pistol super reliable uh i carry it every day and i've never had any issues with it so um if you're a taurus hater and get a good look at it baby hate it hate it hate it all you want i love it there it goes the ring light again sorry guys i'm gonna have to hurry because my ring light's being especially cantankerous tonight it just quit again so uh i've got of course i showed you earlier i've got the gun and flower holster tidex holster that is made to hold the taurus g2c with the balder rl and i've uh, got the ulti clip on the outside yeah, love that sound um let's see yeah i did show okay so get this tourniquet off here show you guys i'm carrying a uh, rhino tactical combat tournament tourniquet sorry i really want to get my hands on one of the uh, smaller soft tourniquets or like a snake staff or something but for now this is what i have and uh, i i always try to keep it on me if it's not directly on my person on my belt i will have it in a medical kit guys if you are a concealed carrier or even if you're not just as you know a responsible citizen it's not a bad idea to have a first aid kit if you are a concealed carrier you definitely should have um, at least a tourniquet at least a tourniquet i recommend a nice ifac um you know just an individualized first aid kit to take care of minor boo-boos and things but a tourniquet is something that it, it's absolutely a lifesaver so learn how to use one and carry one period Okay. And the last thing I've got on is the Vismix Tactical Belt. Of course, I've talked about this belt in quite a few videos. You know, it's always in my pocket dump every week. But guys, I love this belt. It really, really has been just a game changer for me as far as the carry options that it gives you. Um, the fact that it's Velcro, it's pretty much just infinitely adjustable. You know, for a lot of times, if you're concealed carrying, you get your belt on, you get it to where it fits, and then when you put your gun in, then you've got to loosen it up a little bit and the notches might not be just right. Um, but a, a belt like this is, is pretty much infinitely adjustable. Um, another good one is the uh, ratchet type belts. Those are great too, because you can do small incremental adjustments with them. So it allows you to give yourself that extra, you know, uh, inch, inch and a half of space that you're going to need to fit the, uh, the firearm and the holster in. So yeah, I think that's everything that's everything out my pockets all right let's uh let's get to the bench here and take a look at everything all right so we're over here at the top down view and i just wanted to give you an overview and maybe let you get a little closer look at everything um you know a lot of stuff i've, I've featured in previous videos my knives tend to change week to week because you know i always like to be carrying something different and i'm usually uh, got something that i've just gotten in or i've got up for review so, uh, yeah, that's why I'm carrying the SOG Traction Tanto this week. 
again, it, like I said, this is one of my, this is so nostalgic for me. This is one of my very first EDC knives. And, you know, looking at it now, it's so rudimentary. Everything's pinned in. There's no adjustment to anything. Um, it, it's just very basic, but th there's something, I don't know. It just, it sort of hits that nostalgia point for me. And uh, I just dig it. I really do. It's a nice little knife, and especially for like 22 bucks, it's hard to beat. You know, if you want something to throw into like a pack, a bug out bag or something, and grab one of these, just chunk it in there. Um, but it does carry very well. Like I said, it's got a nice deep carry pocket on it. The only thing I don't like about it is is the back lock. Is you just it, it's a two handed closer. It you just have to use two hands to close it, or you can brace it against something and break it over like that. But uh, be careful because this thing will bite you. I can't tell you how many times it's got me across the back of my fingers <laughs> trying to close it. And it's very stiff when you're opening it, too. Like I said, it's rudimentary. I don't know what kind of bearings it runs on, if it even running on bearings. So, um, yeah, not a uh, super high end knife there, but, you know, a great little EDC option, uh, especially on the budget end of things. And uh, this little knife, ooh, man. This little guy scared me. I'm telling you, he got me in the finger and uh, yeah, it hurt. But this, uh, I like this little knife. It's a GTK II knife. Uh, it's a clone of the Bastinelli dopamine, but uh, man, it is a neat little knife. Uh, D2 steel, G10 scales. It's got some bluing on the blade there. Yeah. And a nice jimping on it. it feels great in the hands and and like I said in the unboxing video, I imagine that the, the dopamine is even better. Uh, still carrying the pocket platform. This one is still, I'm still really digging the deluxe version with this loop on the back. Um, carrying my Sharpie. Got the uh, Lynch Northwest best case scenario in there in the Northern Lights colorway. Very, very beautiful. Got a uh, i5T flashlight in here, Olight i5T. Got a full size Wave Plus in there, guys. I mean, come on. The uh, taller pockets really get the job done as far as carrying bigger stuff in. Of course, my little Odical D1 driver always have to have that uh, around handy for adjusting on the lights and things. This week, I did want to show you two guys. Um, if you missed the last video, I've been doing a little more work on the White Horse Concept Knife. I'm um, getting a little closer to uh, what I think the final form is going to be. It's missing a screw right now, so I need to put a screw in it. But uh, I made it a little bit longer so that it's easier to, uh, it fits in the hand a little better without um, using the ring. So, uh, yeah, I like that. Something else that I've been working on with this one, and I'm, and I'm not really sure if I'm going to, I have some ideas of what I might want to do. But without the uh, screw in there, what I could do is I can fold it shut. And the blade fits nicely into the handle there. So, yeah, thinking about maybe a, a folder version at some point. I don't know. But the, yeah, I like it like this because you can use it like a trainer. I need some sort of locking system to hold it, you know, either open or closed. But uh, for right now, it just kind of freely spins. And uh, your, your hand on the handle is what holds the blade in place, basically. But, uh, you know, I just put this other screw in and then it's fully fixed into the, the scale set. But uh, these are wood. I'm waiting to get some more G10 in and I'm going to do another set of G10 out of these. And I've learned on the last couple ones I've, I've done, I don't need to make this neck so small because that tends to be where they break. And I know that if this was a full steel version, um, it wouldn't have those problems. And uh, if I can ever get with a knife maker to collaborate with me on that, I, I'll be able to solve that issue. But uh, for right now, I'm making the handles completely out of G10. Um, and they do hold up really well as long as I don't make that neck too thin. Um, if I do, they tend to want to snap right there. Now, these wooden ones aren't very, they're not very sturdy at all. It's just more of a sort of like a placeholder form trying to. Um, get down the shape that I want but uh, I'm really closing in on it I, I do like I don't even know what you call this on the ring here but uh, making it sort of crowned where it has an impact point there and that does seem to make this a little bit more sturdy too 
less uh, less apt to break when you drop it. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, the white horse uh, concept that I've been working on. And of course, this knife is uh, the other one that I've been working on, my full size ring knife. Um, I still don't have a name for this one yet. I'm thinking about calling it the shark, uh, something like that. It just seems very shark like. But uh, yeah, I've done a few up few little minor changes to this but it really hasn't changed a lot and I think this might just be just where I need it um yeah I like it and again it's just this was just a plain um d2 steel knife blank that I got and uh and some g10 scales and just cut the knife down to the shape that I wanted basically using a dremel which it, it honestly took forever but i don't know what i'm doing either which is why there's still tool marks all over it um i need to learn how to finish these and just get them looking a little more presentable but the the shape of the knife is really it's really right about where i want it i wanted this up sweep here where your thumb will fit into that and again i got jimping there but also got a little jimping up here as well so you can really get your thumb up there and it I'm using my own type of jimping here, but it, it locks the finger in pulling this way. But when you get to the very last stop, it, your finger grabs and it wants to push down. So that's just something I've been I've been working on kind of on my own. Got a little bit of jimping under here so you can hold it like this. You can hold it like that. You can also put your um, pinky through the ring and hold it this way. You can hold it with your index finger through the ring. It's a little tight still. Um, you can hold it just by the handle in reverse grip. Um, it's really made to just hold however you want to hold it. It will it will conform to exactly how you want to hold it in your hand. But anyway, I don't want to talk about the knife forever. I'm going to do some more work on uh, the knives this weekend. But anyway, I, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Get a tourniquet. If you don't have a tourniquet, get a tourniquet. Learn how to use it. Carry it. Um, Anyway, guys, yeah, that's all I got for you this week. I hope everybody has a great week. Hope you have a great weekend. Be safe, but uh, still have fun. Remember, both things are possible. You know, guys, like I always say, always be caring. And remember, the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer is out of here. Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.